Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to draw this bracelet in free cut. So this is how it look in free cut. So if you like this design, you can follow my tutorial and also give me a like and subscribe. So thank you. Okay, so I create a new document and in the sketch a workbench, I create a new sketch in the top field. And I will draw a, a regular polygon. And I type in here 18 and click OK. Now I start from the center, go out. Next, I select this point and this line and assert the constraint. I select this point and I hit I, set it to 20. Now close that. Next, I create a new sketch in the top view. And I will reference this line. I create a center arc. Start from this point. And another one from this line. I select this arc and this arc. And I set the radius to two. Now I um, select this arc and this point and I set a constraint. Next I create arc, um, end points and re-employ arc to connect. I select this one and this one and I set the radius to 5.5. I hit T for tangent constraint and I select this arc and then this arc. This one and this one. This one and this one. This one and this one. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I close that. I create another sketch on the top view. And I will reference this line. I create a center rectangle. Start from this line, go out. I select this uh, line and I hit L, set it to 10. Select this one, hit I, set it to 15. Next, I will reference uh, this arc and I create a point on this arc. I select this point and this line and I set a constraint. I select this point and this point. I hit I and I click on reference. Okay. So now we have the number in here. Next, I. Um, Click on this uh, middle point and move this uh, rectangle up a little bit. Now I select this point and this point and I hit I and I will uh, calculate the distance. This will be 15 subtract 8.9 five nine three and I close that and I will divide by two enter now we have this number I can close that next I will rotate uh, this uh, sketch zero zero one and sketch zero zero two around this line axis a uh, 90 degree to do that, I go to the drop bench and I go to uh, utility and select plan and I select the front plan. Make sure you turn on uh, the snap lock, snap end point, snap middle point, snap center. And I click on the rectangle and and I rotate it 
go to the rotate and I click on this point the center the middle point of this line click on it and then I click on the middle point of this line this one and I rotate it uh, I tap in here 90 degree enter now you can see the sketch is now rotate around this uh, axis Next, I also want to rotate this one. So with uh, this cut selected, I click on the rotate. And also, start from the center. And I click one point at the center of this arc. And also, I tap in here a uh, 90 degree and right? Next, I will turn this line and this line to be a joy curve. I turn off the grid and I go to the curve workbench. In the curve workbench, I select this line and I turn that into the joy curve. And select this line and turn that into a joy curve. Now I click on the sketch 0, 0, 0 and hit space bar to hide it. Now I want to rotate this one um, 35 degree around this axis and rotate this one negative 35 degree around this axis. Again I go to the drop of bench and select this joy curve and rotate it. And I click on the center of this slide and then click on the top of this slide and I type in here 35 degree enter I select this slide and rotate it do the same this slide this point and this point negative 35 enter Next, I go to the product workbench and I use the love tool to love and destroy this one and this one and click OK. Now we have a surface in between. Next, I select the sketch 001 and extrude it to 10 and symmetric very slowly. Click OK. I control select the surface and then this is true and go to the intersection. Now we have a single surface. Next I will create a circle to sweep along this path. I go to the sketcher workbench and create a new sketch on the top here. Create circle. Select the circle and set the radius. To one, close that. Uh, select this sketch and go to attachment editor and zoom close here and select this point and then this line and no more to edge. Click OK. Next, I go to the product bench and go to the suite. Select this sketch and bring it to the right and click on sweep part and control select this edge and hit done very solid turn it ok now we have a single component and hit shift B select everything hit space bar to hide everything now I click on the sweep and show it now we go to the drop of bench and go to the top view and select the sweep. Go to modification, orator, and polar right. Reset point and type it here 18. Enter. Click on the sweep and hit Ctrl D and set 
the material to go close there. Now we just finished modeling the chain. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching.